back to my channel so today we'll be making a wrap dress so for this tutorial we'll be needing the fabric the scissors a piece of chalk and then the tape so let's get started so first i'm going to for the measurement i'm going to be using for this dress is just the length of the dress the full length of the dress the shoulder to the waist and then the waist of the person and then also the bust measurement so first of all i'm going to open up my fabric and then cut out the bottom of the dress because this is going to be a wrap dress with flay at the bottom so i'm going to cut out the bottom of the dress and to get the measurement for the bottom of the dress i need to subtract the shoulder to the waist from the total length of the dress so from the person's shoulder to the waist of this dress and then i'll subtract it from the total length of the whole dress itself so that's what i'm going to do now so whatever i get after subtracting it is what i'm going to use as the bottom flay so right now i'm going to cut out my bottom flay So guys, I've gone ahead and I've cut the full length of the parts that I'll be using for my getter, which is what I have now. It's supposed to be 27 inches if I subtract, because my full length of the dress is 44, and then the shoulder to waist is 17. So if I subtract 17 from the 44, I'll have 27 left. So I added one inch for the folding of the end and then I added half inch for attaching the top to the bottom so as my seam allowance so what I have here is 28 inches so I've cut the bottom of my dress here so I'll keep that aside so now the next thing I want to cut is the top part of the dress so for the top part of the dress I'll be needing a basic bodice pattern and for that I need the shoulder measurement but first, as you can see, I folded the fabric into two. And then the bust measurement I'm working with is 37. So I folded my fabric into two. The first thing I'm going to do is to check my the bust measurement I'm working with, which is 37. And 37 by... 37 by 4 is supposed to be 9.25, right? So the 9.25 I'll So the 9.25 plus 1 inch that will be 11.25, right? The the bust measurement after dividing it I got 9.25 and then the 9.25 plus another one that is 10.25. So 10.25 is what I'm supposed to use as my bust measurement, which is the widest part of the top. So with that in mind, I'm just going to check the length of the top part, which is 17. So I'll add 1 inch to the 17 inches. I want to start here because I want to cut off this yellow part. So 18 is what I'm going to make. It's half inch for the attachment here and half inch here, leaving me with 17 inches. So I'm working with 18 now. So I'll mark the top part here. So this is the box I'm working with here. And at the top part, I'm going to mark the shoulder, which is 16. And 16 divided by 2 is supposed to be 8. So I'm going to mark the 8 at this point. This basic body will work for any, any clothes you're making. Any yeah basically any dress i'm using 20 and that will be 10 right so i'm going to mark at this point here and then mark this way join down here and then from the top part of the shoulder i'm going to mark one inch here and then this one inch that i marked here will be for the shoulder slant the next thing I'm going to check is the neckline, which is three. So from these three here, I'm going to join this down to this. 
three and then eighteen. Oh my god, wait a minute. Okay, so from here I'm going to join this to this point. So that's the slant on the shoulder. So the next thing I'm going to do is to mark give it a curve here at the armhole and then after that I'm going to check my waist for the waist of this dress that is 30 and 30 by 4 is 7.5 so the 7.5 I'm going to add one inch for the dart and then another one inch for the side so that will be two inches added and that will be 9.5 so what I need for the waist is 9.5 So, just to recall, for the bust measurement, you divide by 4, add 1. For the waist measurement, you divide by 4, add 2. 2 because you give it a dart and then one another. The, the other one inch is for the side. The bust, no dart come. The dart doesn't come up to this bust line. So, it's only the one inch you're adding is for the side. Okay. So, that is 9.5. So I've made my mark here and now I'm going to make the mark for the 10.25 that I got after adding one inch. So that will be somewhere here. So I'm going to connect these two together. So this is it here. And now I'm just going to cut it all out because this is the this is a wrap dress right so my neckline at the back will not be so deep so i'm just going to use half an inch which is here half an inch because this is the back neckline if it was the front i would have given it like a a v a circle what a round neckline whatever i want but since it's the back it's just going to be up here for a wrap dress so now i'm just going to go ahead and cut out So guys, this is the back piece of the the uh, back piece of the wrap dress. So what I'm what what I already did now is just to mark from the end of this shoulder. As you can see, this this is the shoulder, right? And then this is the slant. From the part where the shoulder curves in at the back here, the the part where it curves in at this point, I marked it all the way down to the end. To this point at the end here right so you just mark it all the way to this point but for me I'm, I'm trying to manage my fabric so as you can see I still have some piece left over here but normally what you should do is to make sure it contains the whole piece of the cloth so now what I'm going to do is fold this in fold this this way right fold this this way that's that way i've gotten the one panel of my wrap dress right because if this is the front then this is one part of the wrap dress and then the second one is facing this way so that way it wraps in so now i'm just going to trace out this part and then cut it out i'm just going to cut and then when I'm when I'm done cutting, I'll finish up any rough edges that I have. But this is basically how you get the front panel. So I'm just going to start at this point here and then go up all the way just to get the slant of the shoulder. Because as you can see, this is two pieces of cloth folded. So I'm cutting for the two pieces in front. The wrap dress will have one piece at the back and two pieces in front. So I'm going to cut out from here. And I've reached, I think I've reached the slant, yeah. I've reached the end of this. So I'm going to go all the way down and start cutting. And that is it. From here now, I'm just going to shape the outfit, shape it this way. 
and then yeah so guys and then open up the side because this part is not open also shape this side too so that is it here as you can see this is the side here and then this is the back piece if I open it up again and then this is my front piece here the front piece one on each side so one on this side I think just to get get more V I might have to reduce this even more just to give it a little bit of so that the neckline will be deeper is what I want to say so I might just come down a little bit more just to give it a deeper neckline so this is what I'm marking I'll just go back in and trim out I'll trim out all this part here because yeah see the second part here and because if you look at this now if I leave if I leave it this way without trimming it the V is too is too high it's just this much but if I come down a little bit more I'll have more I'll have it more open So let me do guys this this dress is supposed to have a sleeve so right now we are going to cut the sleeve and as you can see i folded the fabric into two and i'm working with armhole and armhole is supposed to be like measuring all the way around your armpit on top of your shoulder and coming down so that is what i'm going to do right now And for me, the measurement I have is 20. 20 by 2 is 10. So this is 10. This is 11. The armhole I'm working with is 10. It's supposed to be 20. If you divide it, you're getting 10. So I'm going to make it 11 just to be safe. And then... The sleeve length I'm working with is supposed to be the sleeve length is supposed to be eight. So eight plus one inch for the seam allowance is nine. Nine plus half for attaching it to the top part that will be nine point five. So in total you have to add nine point five inches to it. So that will, you you're supposed to add one point five inch. Sorry. So that will be nine nine point five for me. So here, I'm going to mark it at 9.5 here. So basically, any shoulder measurement, any sleeve length you want to work with, any sleeve length you decide to work with, all you have to do is to add 1.5 to it. I decided to work with 8, and I added 1.5 to it, and that made it 9.5. 9 so... I'm just going to try to do it over again here that is another 9.5 at this point so i'm going to cut it out right now for me i'm trying to manage the fabric because i just figured it wouldn't be enough right now so but normally you wouldn't do it this way but we we'll still arrive at the same So here, you just see what I'm trying to do right now. So, so as you can see, this is one sleeve and this is the second sleeve. So now we'll place the two of them together and then try to mark it out. So guys, normally it will be four, it, it will be into two, right? So I folded mine here. So I have two pieces of fabric, but they are just rectangular in shape and this long, right? So here, now I'm going to cut the sleeve.
first I'm going to mark 3 inches from here 3 inches down and then from there it's just like you're marking something like an S and then you go up from down here you go all the way up here that's how I, I do mine just this way and then up so my sleeve width is supposed to be the end here because this is going to attach to the shoulder but the end here is supposed to be 12.5 for me so let's call it 13 so that should be around 6.5 for me plus one inch so that is 7.5 for the sleeve i've gone ahead i've also made the strap to go inside of the dress as in the tie for the wrap dress this is the sleeve this is the tie and then this is my basic body front this is the front piece here so as you can see this will go in here as a sleeve and there is two of this here i have two of this so this goes this way this goes this way and just like i said i've gone ahead and made this even deeper but as i'm sewing if i notice that it's still high i, I might as well just cut it slightly so i'm just trying to show how it would look so as you can see this goes in here this goes in here and then this here with this at the back this is the back of the this is the back of the top and then i attach the flay to the bottom if that makes any sense so this will go at the bottom this is the sleeve and then this is the strap that I'm going to fold in. So when I go to fold, I just fold it this way and then fold it in again and then fold it one more time. So it will look something like this at the end. And for this, you just need two inches. Two inches is what you need for this. So I made a lot of them. I'm going to attach it and make it as long as possible. So that is it. So guys, this is the end of end product of this i've gone ahead and folded all the ends of the clothes i folded all the sides ends and then i attach the sleeve and the bottom as you can see so this is how the wrap dress is so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe bye